Hello and welcome to that British Homestead. Today I thought I'd take you along with a bit of canning. Uh, I'm not a canning expert by any means, but I'm going to show you what I'm doing. As you know, I'm getting tons of tomatoes in that recently. So I've made a big batch of chilli salsa, like chilli, it's not very spicy. But look how beautiful it is. It is so beautiful. I'm just finished canning. Uh, these are my pasta these are my pasta sauces um i've got some more on the table behind me <laughs> just there oh my kitchen tap is broke it is so annoying so what i'm going to be doing is kind of like trying to get like an equal amount of sauce and chunks it is quite a chunky one um and i've got these beautiful new jars I can't actually remember where I got them because I got them quite a long ago. Oh, they're called Old Fashioned. Do you see them? Aren't they pretty? I actually got these in the bigger one as well, but these are perfect for like salsa size. So I'm not a very confident canner, but I've been doing it for a few years now. There's like two types of canners really. Those who've done it before lockdown, those who've started after, I reckon. And I'm one of the ones that did it before, but never really sort of mastered it is a science. Anyway, remove this. Oh, Christ, that's hot. So I'm having like a bit of a ta uh, canning session as we're getting so much um, stuff to can. To can. Eventually, I will get to the point where I'll do this in one. So I kind of bubble them like this because they are so incredibly liquidy. Got to have about an inch of headspace. So like I said, I probably started uh, canning the year before lockdown. So about, and mostly um, I just can things in the garden. When I I did the whole, you know, when you first get, um, <laughs> when you first get a can out and you can everything. And I did that, I can everything. I like literally can, I would can, literally if it weren't moving, I'd can it. And I did that for a while. So I've got quite a lot of stuff in my garage that I can't stand, that I've uh, tried canning unsuccessfully, as we all do, don't we? because I got these and I thought that they were these jars. Like, my, obviously not the same, are they? Uh, they're the same brand old fashioned. Focus. But they're not the same jars. So um, it was obviously labeled correctly. I'm just not adept at reading apparently. So I got these and I thought to myself, well, what am I gonna do with these? And they've been handy for things like salsa because I, this is the perfect size of salsa for me because I am the big salsa eater. Um, in the winter, I will have salsa on everything. Everything. A recipe that I'm somewhat following uh, from online. And I didn't have certain things. Uh, it wanted pineapple and I've already done a pineapple one this year. Oh, sorry, it doesn't have pineapple in it. It just has big chunks of tomato. And chilies from the allotment. So I'm wondering, when you get a big glut of something, what do you do with your, um, oh that's hot, with your glut basically? Because I know that most of us this time of year are getting quite a lot of um, things. This is bubbling away here, it is incredibly hot. I've just got asbestos fingers um, after cooking. After cooking for a few years where you like touch pans and stuff, you get like asbestos fingers. Um, so don't copy me. These are, these are very hot, believe it or not. 
but I'm going to be processing these in, in the pressure canner. So, where is my. Oh, there it is. So, what are you doing with your big glut this, these years? Are you uh, producing anything a bit different? I know some people do. Um, what's it called? Sun dried tomatoes. I've never done that. It might be something I will do. Or stored in olive oil which i found fascinating when i realized that someone uh was doing that i thought wow that's just, that's really cool one of my friends ferments her cherry tomatoes don't know if you've ever tried those they are really good and the thing is with the um the fermented tomatoes is that they're really good you just whip them out and blend them up to make a sauce they are good it's a texture thing for me though, they're very soft. Oops. I've been making a year's worth of salsa now. Another thing I put in these little jars is um, beans, so cooked beans. I really like those um, in these because they're much smaller. So we have baked beans here in the UK. I don't know if you guys, if you're not from the UK, it's like a dried bean in tomato sauce. I made a load of them last, might be last year or the year before, but it lasts like two years. Um, I'm just out of them actually now and they were incredible baked beans and we use them on sunday mornings we have a fried breakfast which is um, i'll probably put a picture up if you don't know it's an english breakfast very common um, here to have in the uk really good and it is a treat i know it's not something well we do have every week but it is a treat I have that every day and apparently we'll clean the rims apparently you can actually um geez that's hot you can actually cook it all in water and i think i'm going to start doing that for now because i try to be more health conscious for health reasons obviously on a nanny's jars and I'll have that probably with my dinner see how good it is I'll be eating within four days good there we go it's boiling absolutely boiling in here 